Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at construction and operation of the air brake chamber. The air brake chamber is a critical component in pneumatic braking system, particularly in heavy vehicles like trucks and buses. When we look at the purpose of the air brake chamber, the air brake chamber is there to convert air pressure or pneumatic pressure to mechanical forces that will apply the brake. When you look at the construction, the housing is a made up of a durable material such as aluminium and cast iron to withstand the high pressure and environmental conditions. As you can see, it is very robust, very, very dependable construction really, very strong and durable material is used to construct the housing. It is designed to be robust and resistant to corrosion. That can be seen from this construction. Then the other major component of the air brake chamber is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a flexible member that separates the chamber into two sections, the service side and the atmosphere side. You see on the lower side, on the spring side, that is the atmosphere side, it is vented to the atmosphere. On the upper side right now, right here, we have the uh, pressure side. This is typically made up of rubber, or sometimes it is constructed from synthetic material, allowing it to flex under pressure. So this is a diaphragm the one that is going to exert pressure on the piston. The piston is right here. This is located inside the chamber and it is connected to a push rod that activates the brake mechanism. The push rod usually extends to the slack adjuster and then that will go to the SC cam that is going to apply brakes by splitting the brake shoes. So the piston, it is also made up of a very corrosion resistant durable material it moves in response to pressure differential created by application of air. When air pressure is sent to the air chamber, that air pressure will apply force on the diaphragm and the diaphragm will exert force on the piston. The piston will move against the return spring and the atmospheric pressure in that return spring chamber. Now, in order to activate this, there has to be some way of admitting air into the system. So we have an inlet port right here that will allow air to enter and when the brake is done, when the driver releases his foot from the brake pedal, it will allow air to exit the chamber. So the inlet is connected to a high pressure supply when brake is applied and then when brake is released, it will be connected to a low pressure system. It will be vented to the atmosphere. That way the air that was actually acting on the diaphragm will get discharged and vented and then the return spring will spring back. So you see here a very tough return spring. The return spring is often included to ensure that the piston returns to its original position when air pressure is released from the chamber. When you look at the operation, air brake system operates using compressed air stored in reservoir tanks. And when the driver applies the brake, air is directed into the brake chamber through the inlet port. Then as air enters the chamber, it exerts pressure on the diaphragm and then the diaphragm flexes, pushing the piston forward. This will move the piston. The movement of the piston activates the brake mechanism by the help of the push rod. It will either activate a slack adjuster or it will sometime directly connect it to an S cam that will activate the brake system. So this action creates friction on the brake drum and uh, that will cause to slow down or stop the vehicle. Now, when the driver releases the brake pedal, the air supply is cut off and this high pressure will be vented out. It will allow the system to vent out and uh, air will escape from the system. Then the return spring pushes the piston back to its original position. So this is the principle of operation of the air chamber. It's really a very crucial component of uh, trucks and buses. The air chamber is a very vital component in ensuring effective and safe braking in heavy vehicles. Its construction is designed to be durable and uh, efficient, while its operation relies on the principle of pneumatic pressure to engage and release the brake smoothly. Understanding this system is very crucial for maintenance and troubleshooting in commercial vehicle operations. So this is why we have presented this video. If you like what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.
Stirn hat er. Finished. 